residential market analysis in highest and best use, chapter four, highest and best use, page six, competitive versus complementary. Competition is good for the market up to, a, up to a certain point. Too much competition becomes disastrous as the market cannot support the number of properties with the same use. Does the market need another competing land area of this type? It may be that the market could absorb a complementary type of property use, but not another competing property use. An analysis of the market's supply and the demand will be a consideration in determining the highest and best use for the land area. The second analysis will determine if the cost to achieve the highest and best use is going to be returned to the property owner or investor. Will these overall costs be returned to the owner slash investor in terms of equal or greater property value? Will there be a profit from the initial investment on the part of the owner of the land area? How much will it cost to achieve the highest and best use of the land area? Will the property be worth at least as much or more than the overall costs, including land value and profit, encountered to arrive at the highest and best use for the land? To illustrate the overall costs, including the land value, to construct a four-unit building on the site were... $250,000. The owner would want the worth of the property with the building construction completed to be at least $250,000. An investor would probably expect a greater value for the property. After construction of the improvements to realize a profit for the use of his or her money. The investor expects a rate of return for his or her investment for time and the risks involved. That rate can be realized in the form of increased property value over and above the actual cost to achieve the highest and best use of the land area. Using the example cited above, the investor's expected profit range is between 15% and 20%. If the property was worth at least $287,500 in the marketplace, the highest and best use would be financially feasible as the owner slash investor would have achieved a 15% return on his investment. Anything greater than $287,500 would only serve to increase the rate of return on the investment. The market was able to absorb the land's highest and best use because of the continued demand for this type of land usage. The increase in value was achieved because the indicated the highest and best use was seen as required for the marketplace. The market does not appear to have an existing oversupply for this type of land usage. Maximally productive. Of those uses which has been identified as financially feasible, the appraiser must identify the one use which results in the highest value or return to the land. Maximum productivity is one of the factors that could be considered in this analysis process. The income derived from an income producing property should be able to sustain a positive cash flow after all of the expenses of building stewardship and the debt service has been accounted for. The highest and best use of the property will require a profit or some other benefit from the owner slash investor. The cash flow equates to a rate of return for the initial investment. 
Mm. An analysis of competing uses and their resulting cash flows will allow the appraiser to support his or her highest and best use decision. The profitability in the selection of the highest and best use as well as the positive cash flow at a rate determined to be acceptable in the market area in the market are important aspects of the maximum productivity analysis. It has been placed at the end of the determination process because all of the other items to be considered in this analysis must be satisfied first. Profitability cannot be obtained if the use is not legally permissible, physically possible, or financially feasible. It is only when all of the other requirements have been analyzed and satisfied that the question of cash flow and profit can be analyzed. Are there other uses which provide less risk and could produce a greater profit? Of course. It is without question that time is of the essence and the appraiser is analyzing the market within a specified time frame. Is there a period of time required for the determined highest and best use to start producing that stabilized income stream necessary to bring about the positive cash flow? If time is a requirement, how much time will be required? How long will it take for the market to absorb the determined highest and best use for the property? Depending on the time period required for stabilization, we know that time is money in the eyes of an investor. With the time being major, a major consideration, the appraiser may consider an interim highest and best use for the property. Interim use will be discussed later in this material. Having given consideration to all of the above facts, the appraiser must be able to support his or her decision concerning the highest and best use of the property as of a specific date and time. End of page.